We go about our daily lives. We drive to work, to school. We may go to the movies or go out to eat. It's easy to forget that the things that we do, the choices we make, affect our city, our island, and our country. I can remember times when this beach was almost immaculate. I mean, it was well kept, it was well preserved. Um, you know, there were times when people had more, took more pride, you know, but nowadays it seems that everyone wants to pass the buck. Nobody wants to take the responsibility. In other words, if you see something on the ground, why not pick it up yourself and put it in the, uh, in the bin? This seems to be a, 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 an attitude that is prevailing globally for whatever reasons. Um, you know, everyone wants to just pass the responsibility on to somebody else. We just need to be a lot more aware of our environment. We just need to take a, a little bit more care of where we live, our surroundings, our, our neighbors, because it can only be beneficial to this island. We have tourists that, that tour. They go everywhere. What are they thinking when they pass by mounds of garbage? We just need to be uh, better citizens all around to ensure that our island is kept a lot cleaner than it is right now. You only have one opportunity to make a first impression. And if a tourist comes here and sees garbage scattered everywhere or otherwise not kept, or an investor may come here on vacation and say, boy, this is a, a nice place. I might, you know, bring my multi-billion dollar business down here one day but sees you know, garbage everywhere and place not kept up, obviously they're gonna not think that. You know? So a tourist, for instance, may not recommend it to their friends or family, or, or they may just go back with a negative opinion saying, you know, we had a great time, but it was a little shabby or a little dirty. So we have to step forward and let people know exactly uh, what you're doing wrong, how you dispose of things, and also assist in disposing things and making sure that we um, um, also inform the individuals who are responsible for guiding us just as well on the way that we should make sure that our community is protected and preserved for the future of our children. It takes the efforts of every resident to protect our island, to ensure that our island is the kind of place we want to live in and that visitors will want to come to. In the small communities of West End and East End Grand Bahama, it is the condition of the environment that will keep visitors coming back. When they go out and say, and hear somebody say, boy, I've been in the High Rock, and uh, you should see that community, boy. It's so nice and clean and quiet. You know, and that's what the tourist names is always say when, they, when you sit down and talk with them. You know, how clean the community is, and it's so quiet. And they can come on the beach and sit down and relax and lay off and relax and nobody to disturb. It is not just in the surrounding communities that residents must take individual action the people of the inner city of Freeport have an important role to play. In the community, me standing as an individual and thing, I would like to see the community build up and I would like to put my arm more into the community. And just like how you see right here behind us and thing, you see you don't have a starter. We have fruit trees and different peas trees and pumpkins and different things we have growing and stuff. If we could get this whole section growed like that and thing, with majority of people within the community pull together and put these things and put their hand together with it. It'll be better for the community and it'll serve more purpose where it is that all the garbage and the dumping won't have to be here. We won't have a dirty environment, we'll have a clean, healthy environment where it is that'll be something that you could benefit off. You see? But we need to all take on, take responsibility for this because we all need to be connected to the Bahamas. And what happens is a lot of people detach themselves and say, this doesn't affect me. But you'll find that in time, as we're having now with the crime, everybody's being affected. So we can't insulate ourselves. We're all affected, and some of us have better skills to assist in one area than another. The things I can do is when I'm eating, throw the trash inside the garbage, and if somebody's throwing trash, I'll tell them pick it, pick it up. And I want to keep our environment clean so we can have good water and be healthy. We have to get involved at whatever level with what happens in our country. Because even though you may be okay, what you do today determines the kind of Bahamas our children will experience. So we must take some responsibility in shaping and in terms of leaving the best possible heritage for them. Uh, we would just like to encourage every person individually that uh, instead of looking to other social groups and, and uh, non-governmental organizations and even the government itself, to uh, help to correct these uh, problems, we need to take each one individually. We need to take an individual responsibility to uh, uh, seek to do our little part. For instance, we can keep our yards clean. 
We can keep our houses painted, freshly painted. We can keep everything looking nice because what happens is the basic appearance of our environment actually, uh, it, what it does, it has an influence upon our, our mindsets. It has an influence upon our moods and our state of mind. In our effort to create and maintain a clean, healthy environment, it is key to remember that each one of us has a role to play in improving our own community. Sensitize each other. You know, residents can certainly sensitize each other about the importance of keeping a clean environment. If I live in a community, you know, I can become that community leader that engages persons of that community to do regular cleanups, whether it be monthly, annually, what have you. And so encouraging that type of attitude is what we'd like to see residents do. You know, have the best kept community in Grand Bahama. You know, we challenge people to do that and so that they can make it a personal initiative and not just be attached to you know, something associated with even keeping grandmama clean, but a personal initiative and mandate. So they can certainly challenge their community leaders um, to help them and to encourage that type of action and activity in the, the general community as well. Taking on personal and individual responsibility for our own surroundings is the most important way that you can help protect our environment and preserve the beauty of our island. You'll keep Grand Bahama clean today and for our future. This message is brought to you by the Keep Grand Bahama Clean Committee and spearheaded by the Grand Bahama Port Authority. Contact us today for more information about how you can help keep Grand Bahama clean. It's everyone's business and everyone's responsibility. Our lifestyles, our future, and our economy depend on it.